Hey guys, it's Andrea here. Welcome and welcome back to my channel, aka my internet home. Alright, they asking for the queen. I'm a bad bitch, she's a savage. Look, look, look back while I turn. No comparison here. So for today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my 2022 winter feminine hygiene routine product slash haul type of thing. But before we get into the video, make sure you hit the subscribe button and that notification button so you are notified every single time I post because I am on my way to 3K and I want you guys with me every step of the way. Now that that's all done, let's get right into the video. So like I said in my intro, I'm going to be sharing with you my 2022 winter feminine hygiene products. So I have them like all laid out on my bed. We're going to touch on like body care, skin care, a little bit of dental, um, even like some hair removal. So these are just like all the products, all the products that I use that work for me. And I'm in no way, shape or form telling you that you need to go out and buy all of these products because some of these things were gifted to me. Some of these were like YouTube collaborations. Some of these things I just spent a lot of money on so like feminine hygiene can get very expensive at times So I'm just gonna show you what it is that I use and what works well for me And if you see anything that you are interested in then feel free to go ahead and pick it up And then you know, let me know down in the comments if it works for you too So I think I'm gonna start off with body care So like one of the first things I want to show you is what I use to exfoliate I love exfoliating especially in the winter time I feel like a lot of people don't realize you need to exfoliate and get like all the dead skin off of your body because you do not need it um what i used to exfoliate i kind of low-key exfoliate every day um well with this it's an african body net so i use this to exfoliate and it gives your skin like a gentle exfoliator every day i absolutely love this and this is more hygienic than like a loofah or a washcloth um that's because you don't wash loofahs so like a lot of bacteria will stay on on your loofah and then washcloths don't dry as fast as this body net. So moisture attracts bacteria and things like that. This dries up a lot faster than a washcloth. So this is what I use to exfoliate on a daily. When I want something that's a little rougher or like when I want something that's a little more, yeah, when I want something that's a little more rougher, like I'm doing a more in detail body routine kind of day, I go in with um, like an actual exfoliator. This one's from Soap and Glory. It's the Smoothie Star Breakfast Scrub. So as you can see, it's basically empty. It's basically empty, but I honestly love this. I love like the oats and like the shea. Is there shea? No, there's almond and caramel butter. It smells so good and it's like grainy. Like it's really, really grainy. So every time I use this, I can always feel the difference in my skin. My skin feels like super, super, super soft after I use this. I love this product. If I don't get this one, then I get the one from like Tree Hut. They have some really good scented ones from Tree Hut too but I do prefer the Soap and Glory one. I I don't know, I think it's just like a little grainier. So it just, you know, takes, takes it to another level. Like you ever take one of those showers where you do like your whole routine? Like, you know, there's like different types of showers. Like, you know, my quick 15 minutes, you know, I'm just getting ready. Then like my getting ready for bed shower and then like my getting ready to go out shower. Am I the only person that has like different types of showers? I don't know, let me know down in the comments if you know what I'm talking about. Like, you know, when you do like your whole deep routine, like I'm getting ready for bed, but like it's a pamper day shower when you go in with your exfoliator. If you know what I'm talking about, let me know down in the comments. <laughs> the next thing I wanna show you is the razor I use. It's this one right here. I believe this one is from Chic Intuition. And it's just like, it's just the regular one with the, um, the removable head. So like it comes, when I bought it, it came like with this and then like maybe three of the razor heads. This one's kind of dirty because I used it, ooh child. But I love this and I love the fact that it comes with like the two moisture strips. I have dry skin if y'all didn't know. So I love anything that comes with like the two moisture strips just because it keeps my skin moisturized and it like protects my skin from getting nicked by the razor so I avoid any like razor cuts or anything like that. Also with this, you don't need to necessarily use shaving cream. Um, and I just, I haven't been using shaving cream with this. Um, when you use like a regular razor, of course you want to use shaving cream, but if you don't have any shaving cream, you can also use conditioner. That's a little secret, that's a little tip. You can condition your legs and then use your razor, but I like this because it, um, it comes with the two moisture strips. So the next product I want to show you is like the soap that I use when I take a shower. So right now my favorite is definitely Dove. Dove is like always my go-to body wash. 
Um, I know people be like, oh, don't use Dove. It leaves stuff on your skin, yada, 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 yada. I don't know what they're talking about. I don't know what they're talking about because whenever I use like a different type of soap that's not Dove, I always feel like my skin is super dry. Like when I get out of the shower, I just feel like dry and itchy. Whatever it is about Dove, and I don't know if they have moisturizing stuff in it. I don't, I don't know. Maybe that's what's being left behind, like moisture. But I like it. Like my skin does not feel as dry when I use Dove. And then I have this one in the lavender and chamomile Dove Go Fresh Body Wash. I love the lavender. Child, y'all don't see how much I pay for. Well, it was $10. Um, I love the lavender, like especially right before I go to bed. It helps me go to sleep and it helps me stay asleep. Like lavender is one of those calming scents. And then chamomile, or chamomile, I don't know how you pronounce it. I don't really remember what that's good for like in regards to your skin but I know like if you have cramps um, drinking chamomile tea or chamomile tea will help uh, like calm down your cramps it's like a scientific thing there was a whole study on it I read the article so that's what I know about chamomile I don't know nothing about it for like the skin but you know if you do have cramps try some chamomile tea you might feel a lot better um, yeah I don't building girl self esteem oh look Dove it says building girl self esteem I don't know if y'all can read that right here it says building girl self esteem yeah this one's definitely my favorite I know some people don't really like body wash or they do like a, a bar before the body wash and like for a soap bar guys don't judge me but like my favorite favorite soap bar Iris Spring Iris Spring is my favorite favorite soap bar like I love the way it smells I always feel like I smell so fresh and clean like I don't I don't know what it is about Irish Spring but that's the soap bar I use like there is like Dove does have a soap bar but like so weird as a body wash Dove is my favorite as an actual bar Irish Spring is my favorite so um so still with the body care the next thing I want to show you is like this Nair that I have and this is the one with soothing aloe and linol Len Lanolin? Lanolin? I don't know how you pronounce that. But it's this right here. I don't necessarily use the Nair on my legs because I just like shave my legs. But what I do use this Nair for is like my arms are really hairy. <laughs> like my arms are really, really hairy. So like I Nair off my arm hair. I Nair off my arm hair like every 15 days, I think. I just narrow off my arm hair because I'm not gonna wax my arm hair that's uh, I'm kind of bony in the arms so that sounds like that's gonna really hurt and then I don't want to shave my arm hair either I don't know Nair just seems like the best option and then as of late I've been using this like on my bikini area as well I normally go wax but I've been like really lazy about getting a wax now I'm gonna let you know right now, I definitely recommend you getting a wax instead of nairing. You only have to do it once a month, the hair comes back thinner. You don't have to do it that often. Like it, It's just beneficial to wax, but I've just been really lazy and I have not made it to the wax place in a while. So I've nared, I've been nairing. Nairing, is that what you call it? But with the nair, I do notice that the hair grows back a lot faster on my bikini area than with waxing. So, I might just have to really go back to the waxing. Like, yes, Nair is like painless basically, and waxing is on the more painful side. You know, for what it gives, waxing waxing is the way to go. The next thing I want to show you is what I use to moisturize. Guys, like I told you, I have dry skin, so I need a moisturizer that actually works, not one of those like moisturizers that is just like water. Like, I don't I don't know. It's just I've tried a lot of moisturizers and a lot of them just leave my skin feeling really really dry but this one right here is my absolute favorite i also noticed that i don't necessarily like regular lotions my body well my skin prefers a body butter this fenty skin body butter right here miss mams miss mams miss miss fenty knew what she was doing this right here oh god oh my god i love it so much and you can see yeah, y'all see I be using this. I, no shame in my game. This is the Butter Drop Whipped Oil Body Cream. This is extremely moisturizing and it leaves my skin glowing, guys. When I say glowing, my skin be glowing after I use this. Like, this is some rich bitch shit. That, that's what this is, okay? It's not even that expensive, 
but this is definitely some rich bitch shit right here like and it smells amazing okay like i don't know if you guys ever smelled rihanna's if you ever smoked this before but if you have rihanna's um sunscreen it smells just like the sunscreen and i love i love the way that smells anytime i use this body butter my skin is moisturized the entire day my skin doesn't look dry my skin looks like vibrant and healthy and glowy like my third bottle of this and maybe even my fourth this is something i'm never gonna let go do yourself a favor and just pick this up just do yourself a favor and pick this up and you'll know exactly what i'm talking about this is something that you need i don't care if you have dry skin in the winter time this is definitely something that you need this is like my best friend so the next thing i want to show you isn't something that i necessarily use all the time during the winter time but it's definitely something i use every time like i go out like if i'm going out and I'm wearing like a skirt or a dress and my legs are showing it is going to be this a body oil right here from ancient cosmetics if you guys are new to my channel if you guys are new to my channel that you don't know I partnered with ancient cosmetics back in the summertime and they sent me a bunch of body oils child one they all smell amazing Two, your skin looks so glowy after you use it like if I'm ever going out and my legs are showing I put some of this body oil on you can't tell me nothing. You can't tell me that my legs don't glisten in the moonlight. Like, absolutely love it and you definitely need to get one. Um, I'm going to link my video for this oil, like for the Ancient Cosmetics oil up in the cards and down in the description box, so make sure you check that out. Next thing I wanna talk about is like deodorant. <sighs> Guys, I don't know how I feel about this, right? So I've been using the native deodorant and this one is in coconut vanilla and I absolutely love this deodorant and the way it smells. But the problem is, if I start sweating, this deodorant rolls right off of me like nobody's business. And it's like, it's like I didn't put on deodorant if I start sweating. Like if I get, I don't know, if I'm, if I start sweating, it just don't work for me. So I was just like, maybe it's native and I'm going to try like a different natural deodorant because I'm trying to do natural deodorant because I don't want breast cancer or nothing like that. So I've been using the Schmitz natural deodorant lately and this one is in vanilla and oat milk it smells really good but also if i start sweating like i need a, a natural antiperspirant something that doesn't make me sweat so if you guys have like a good natural antiperspirant natural deodorant that works like a deodorant a deodorant with aluminum in it let me know down in the comments because these both smell really great they both smell really great and this one from schmidt says it has a 48 hour protection it does not this one is a lie it does not this one it's not 48 hours but i'll give it like 24 before i feel like okay maybe i need to like you know shower and rinse it out and whatnot but this one right here like i can put it on in the morning and if i start sweating if i get too hot i think lately it's because i've just been really hot trying to get to work so I guess we're going to move on to like skincare for your face. So the first thing I want to share with you is my absolute favorite cleanser of all time. I feel like it just works the best for me. Um, is the Fenty Skin Total Cleanser. This one right here. I absolutely love it. Ever since I used this, like when I first started using this maybe like last year, like last summer, my skin was breaking out. Like my cheeks were breaking out so much. And then I started using this and my skin cleared up. And then I stopped using it for a while, then my forehead and cheeks started breaking up. I started using a different product, which did work for my skin, but nothing has worked as good as this Fenty Skin Total Cleanser. Like, it's my absolute favorite, and I definitely recommend this. Next thing is like another like holy grail of mine. It is this Pixie Glow Tonic right here this is a really good facial exfoliator like a chemical exfoliator if you don't want to use like a physical one on your face this right here oh my god guys oh my god like i can't even explain what magic is inside of this this right here has my skin looking right at all times like i will never give this up holy grail product hands down i will go to war over that product like mm -hmm not even messing with it the next product i want to show you it's like a newbie in my collection but honestly she's gonna be a keeper like it's the seven leaves of light from four five six skin um i actually have a video coming out like a full review on 
this product and another product from 456 Skin. Right here has helped with my hyperpigmentation immensely. Like, I put this on at night, like I do like four, three, four pumps, and I rub it on my face and it's helped fading my dark marks. Like, these two products together help fade dark marks like nobody's business. Like, this, this tag team duo right here, you need to get on it because, well, if you have hyperpigmentation, you need to get on it because this right here, absolutely love it and it's making my skin look like wow, life. Like, I don't even wanna talk about it too much because I have a whole full video coming out on that. So when that video drops, I'm going to link it in the cards and in the description box below. So be on the lookout for that video, okay? The other product I wanted to talk to you about, this is the Clean and Clear Pur Gel, Persa Gel 10. So this is what I use to like prevent any like more breakouts on my skin. I found this my like freshman year of college. Child, let me tell you, my skin was so bad like from elementary school to high school, well all the way up until college. My skin was so bad, y'all. Like, so bad my forehead was always breaking out and there was nothing we could do to save me <laughs> like there was there's was nothing we could do to save me but when I found this it really just like eliminates all the acne on my face except for like um I don't know if you ever have those pimples that are like kind of underneath the skin if it's underneath the skin then it kind of doesn't work but like active acne that has like the whiteheads and stuff like that this bad boy here will take them out okay take them out like nobody's business maximum strength baby right here love her another product that i got off of amazon that i absolutely love is this bio oil right here y'all i love the way this looks i put this on my like my face I don't necessarily follow the instructions for this because it says you got to do this like every day for like six months or something. That's not how I use it. I do this like once a week, just like on my skin, just to, like even it out. And then I had a scar. I still kind of have it on my leg from when I went to Turks and Caicos with this whole uh, jet ski mishap. I've been putting this on the scar on my leg and it's doing a beautiful job of like fading it away. It's not, it's still kind of noticeable, but it's not as noticeable as it was back in July when I first got that scar because it was kind of frightening. Now it just looks like, you know, I might have scratched myself. But this, I, I definitely attribute my scar fading to this. Um, this also helps with like stretch marks, scars, uneven tone, aging and dehydration. This right here, you need to pick one up. I got this off of Amazon when Amazon was doing their like Amazon sale. I don't know if it was like 30% off. I got the small one because it's my first time using it. Well, it was my first time using it. So I didn't want to like fully commit to a big bottle and I didn't know if it worked. But now I know that it works. So when I'm done with this bottle, I'm definitely gonna commit to a bigger bottle. If you guys have ever tried bio oil, let me know how you feel about it. Next thing I wanna show you is this Pond's Dry Skin Cream Facial Moisturizer. This is my favorite like cream to put on my face. It just really makes my skin feel so hydrated. Like I have dry skin. So what's most important to me is to keep my skin hydrated, especially throughout the winter. These cold months will be having my skin cracked okay like cracked so i need like a rich a rich facial moisturizer and this is it like i don't know and i think it's like a affordable price i'm pretty sure i get this at like my beauty supply store for not that much i've tried other facial moisturizers and i just don't like them as much as i like the pond i like the pond so much that i have also bought this um cold cream makeup remover this right here so the moisturizer is the blue cap the makeup remover is the green cap this right here is how i take my makeup off i like i it's like a it's like a cream and you just rub it into your face and it breaks up your makeup it breaks up your makeup like nobody's business and then i go in with my um my makeup eraser, I don't really use makeup wipes anymore unless I'm traveling, but my makeup eraser, and I just like get it all off my face. Like if it's a matte foundation, matte eyeliner, matte lipstick, it has no chance of staying alive when I use this. This is holy grail products. Like I, obviously this one's the mini. Um, I can't remember what I did with like my bigger one, but I've been using the mini one and then when this is done, I'm obviously going to get like the full size one because this was just... And since it is like a cream based, um, a cream based remover, it does help keep your skin moisturized even though you like wash it off. Your skin does still 
feel moisturized after using this product another thing for skincare i do like every week i'm trying like especially since especially throughout 2022 i'm gonna try and do like self-care sundays like every sunday i'm gonna try and like dedicate it to like not working and just like taking care of myself um one of the things i really want to do is just like a face mask every sunday like during the pandemic i got really into skincare and stuff like that because i had the time now that I started a new job, I don't really have the same amount of time, but I'm still like learning and working with my schedule. Face mask, man. So this one's from Teamy. It's the detox mask, the green tea blend. I love this. Like sometimes I fall asleep with my makeup on. Eh, yikes. And um, as a reward to myself, I put this on so that it like sh takes everything 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 out of my skin i just love the way it makes my skin feel afterwards and like it smells really good to me okay i actually haven't used this mask in a while i low-key kind of forgot about it until i was talking about like detoxifying masks this is the aztec healing clay right here so you can use it as a mask for like your skin you can also use it for your hair i've never tried using it on my hair before um but i think my friend sable has she like puts it in her hair and like does like a hair mask this right here will draw every single thing i think i'm gonna do this on sunday i think i'm gonna do this one this will draw everything out of your skin and then like it it, it pulses so, like you can feel it like taking every like thing you're not supposed to have in your skin you can feel it like being removed out of your skin it kind of it kind of hurts like the first time not hurt but it's kind of like you don't necessarily like the way it feels because it's different but it, it definitely gives like a pulsing type of feeling it does it on the back feel your face pulsate i'm definitely gonna use this this weekend if you guys have watched my nighttime skincare routine you'll see that i use this with turmeric and then i think a little bit of apple cider vinegar and water and then I put that on my face and I just let that sit until it's like dry. I'm gonna do this this weekend. Now we're winding down on the products. I think I only have like two to three left to show you. Um, the next one I wanna show you is like a tool that I use. So it is this um, eyebrow razor right here. This is actually a men's eyebrow razor. I don't use this for my eyebrows. What I use this for is like to derma blade my face. It's basically getting like dead skin off of my face and then any extra unwanted hair that's on my face, I kind of just like remove it. Um, I've also started doing laser hair removal at Laser Away for my chin and like jawline area. Well, I guess my jawline and chin area. I do have an at home laser hair removal on like dark skin video I have a couple of those but I was mostly doing it on my legs because I was scared to test it out on my face in case my face got burned or anything like that so I started doing laser hair treatments at laser away if you guys are interested in learning more about like my treatments at laser away please let me know down in the comments and I will do like a whole separate dedicated video to that since I've started doing the laser hair removal I cannot like I can't pluck the hair out of my chin anymore so what I've been doing is like basically shaving it but like with this this eyebrow razor just so that like when the hair grows back it's not like ah she has a beard it's like very like it's hardly noticeable and then this cuts really nice to the skin and I don't feel like a man using like an actual razor and shaving cream like this is just like derma derma blading the hair right off so that's what I use this for and then every time I derma blade I always feel like my skin looks better it looks brighter my makeup goes on better like if y'all don't derma blade y'all should Y'all should get on that. I'm about to give you like a whole new updated nighttime routine so y'all can see <laughs> what my skin be doing underneath this makeup. So if you guys are interested, let me know. Oh, okay, so then I'm down to my last product and it is a dental product. So it is these Crest 3D White Strips. Um, I actually only have this one left. I ran out, like I this is my last one and I'm gonna probably use it tomorrow. Um, I got the I get these off of Amazon just for like teeth whitening um, a lot of people compliment me on my teeth They say they look really nice <laughs> You know like they, they're very nice. They're very bright um, I do at-home teeth whitening because I can't always uh, I only see the dentist twice a year really but like I want my teeth to look like mwah, gorgeous so 
I do these and I don't remember how many strips come in the box but I know it's like two hour long strips this is one of the hour long strips and then a bunch of like 30 minute strips I do them every night um, I know other people do them every other night because they have like teeth sensitivity I don't really have teeth sensitivity and um, my dentist hasn't said anything like that my enamels are ruined or anything like that so it works just fine for me so if you guys are interested in doing um, teeth whitening but in a more affordable way I would definitely suggest Crest 3D white strips um, I got these off of Amazon so I'm gonna leave my Amazon storefront down in the description you can shop around through there um, they were on sale when I got them the last time I think they might be about $40 which seems kind of expensive, but when you compare it to like dentist teeth whitening, it's a hell of a lot cheaper, guys. That's that's all I'm gonna say. It's a hell of a lot cheaper. And I feel like it's a really good investment to like invest in your smile, invest in your teeth, invest in your, like your dental hygiene. One of the first things people, well, maybe not anymore because everybody's wearing masks, but before the mask epidemic, one of the first things people looked at were like your teeth to see if like you have all of them, if they're white, if you have plaque on your teeth, like if you're missing any teeth. When I take my mask off and I start smiling at you guys, they're like, wow, her teeth are really white. This is the secret I'm using. Um, I don't have like any like feminine vaginal products because like to be completely honest, you're not supposed to be putting anything in there. <sighs> you're not supposed to be putting anything in there you're just gonna be upsetting her and then I know people are like oh yeah honey pot I don't know honey pot's been seasoning their stuff lately okay they've been putting a little extra seasoning in their products and I'm not so sure that it's good for your lady friend down there so um, the most I would probably do is like um, honey pot wipes like you know vaginal wipes like for if I start sweating or if I just want to feel a little fresher that's about it but like for regular daily stuff like water water because that's all you're supposed to be putting there water like unless you have something specific from your doctor I would not recommend putting anything you know in there washing with anything specific because I don't know what your personal hygiene is like down there like if you have any questions about anything if you like something doesn't seem right to you go ahead like go talk to your doctor go talk to your OBGYN okay guys and that is it for today's video if you guys enjoyed today's video make sure you give me a big old thumbs up to let me know that you like this video and to let YouTube know that you like this video if you didn't get to it at the beginning of the video make sure you hit the subscribe button and that notification button so you are notified every single time I post because I am on my way to 3k and I want you guys with me every step of the way. I love you all so much and I can't wait to see you in my next one. Bye! Alright, they asking for the queen. I'm a bad bitch, she's a savage. Look, look, look back while I turn. No comparison. I was sick.